Hey everybody. It's real life sci-fi. I'm Wade. I'm Willie. And I'm Aaron. We are a podcast where we discuss I just lost my notes. Yeah. He where would he be without Par- his about notes? paranormal this is a podcast about paranormal contemporary mythology. This episode is produced by our Patreon subscriber, Cody. I want to say Witchman. W I C H M A N N. Cody, thank you for your subscription. It's been a couple weeks. We've been dropping the ball. Cheers. But, uh, here's your shout out. Thanks for the beers. And um, go to uh, reallifesci-fi.show. Get access to our link tree. We got a Discord. We got a Patreon. Two, ups, two extra episodes a week. It's really great. Yeah, it is great. <laughs> All the extra episodes, so much better than this free one. So Yeah, this free one's like garbage. This free comparison. one's garbage? <laughs> so you have to pay for the good stuff. Yeah. So. That's not by design. It just ended up that way. Yeah, can't be helped. <laughs> can't be helped. Can't be helped. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give us your money. <laughs> um, let's welcome aboard the SSRLSF. It's our good friend. She's a producer. Noah Durbin, whose movie... The Butthole Surfers movie, it's a documentary, is coming soon. They're editing it. Ooh. Awesome. Noah, thanks for being here. Hi, I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> thanks for having me. Of course. So how into like conspiracy theories and like, you know, cryptos and stuff? Crypt crypt crypto crypt cryptids? Cryptids. Cryptics. Cryptics, yeah, like how, how into this world are you? Oh, so I really like people who are into conspiracy theories. I'm not personally like I'm a fan of the of the idea of people liking it. Okay. You know, rather than uh, I do like I used to want to be a cryptozoologist for five minutes when I was like fourteen. Mm. Fun, because <laughs> you know I was like, oh, I'm gonna be one of those like um, Loch Ness monster chasers and like chupacabra. Yeah. And uh, you know my dreams died long ago. So. Oh. Oh. Well, it's never too late. Maybe tonight, maybe you this still, is... You could still chase Loch Ness around. I, I know. I feel like, though, like, back then I was like, why did I even think that there's, like, millions of people? Do- I'm too I'm too egotistical. I need to do, like, something more special. I can't... Mm. I need to find, like a, like, a beast that nobody even thought of, you know? Yeah, and not to, not to try to take you back into that realm, but it's it's like, you know, there's a lot of people making stuff, but, like, um, um, you can make it better. Uh, that's true, and you know what? Okay, I'm putting my Loch Ness gloves yeah, right. back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's Thank what you do here, Real Life Sci-Fi. We change lives. Make your dreams come true. <laughs> oh, Cancer Christ documentary. Mm-hmm, maybe I am doing that. Ooh. That's from the chat. Uh, oh, yeah, you're you. in Cancer Christ, right? I'm a, I'm a church member. I'm a church, uh, I'm an affiliate producer of the Church of Cancer Christ. Ooh. And uh, yes, we do have some interesting things coming up, and also they're touring in like two weeks. So. Oh, my gosh. West so Coast tour. Holy shit. Speaking of mystical things, you know, this band has snake people. Oh, my God. You know this? You know about this? Um. Okay, it's a band. Uh-huh. Ca- Cancer Christ. Cancer Christ is a band. And there, there are snake people, the miracle miracle of snake people. So what it does have to that? do with this. Show. I do like watching the videos. Like they're, it's pretty, pretty Do you fun. mean they charm snakes? Or no, no, the snakes are playing in the band. They're snake people. They have living, breathing snake people. Like they're the drumsticks? By the power just, like, of Christ. some snakes <laughs> on the drums? Yes, the power of Christ makes them into snake people. They turned into oh. snake. Their devotion was so great that they've become snakes it's the snake that tempted eve exactly see is this a tommy band yeah oh okay maybe sweatband records oh do they go under is his name like fucks fuck man or something in, in this band I don't know if he's in this band. Maybe he's just in the label. I don't know. We don't know who the people Snake yeah, Girl are. Can't, yeah, we can't uh, oh, we don't know. ruin the lore. Okay, forget it. You said should anything. know a thing or two about fucking mysteries. Sorry. <laughs> no, That's we okay. We can just all day. I'm the skeptic. Am to curse? Okay. I'm yeah. the skeptic. Okay. He doesn't know anything about fucking oh, mysteries. You're the you're the skeptic. Of, okay. Yeah, so I don't do shit. We'll break you by the end of this. All right. Well, I hope so because we do solve every topic that we that we bring up. <laughs> so just like you're gonna get back into uh, cryptozoology, I will uh, agree that there are blood 
things? Snake people. Oh, snake people. But that's not what this episode is about. No. Is it? no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Well, Willie, why don't you... Oh, do you Wait. want to talk about the butthole surfer doc or... or? Uh, yeah, do we have a minute? Sure. So speaking of like freaky things... Um, the Battle Surfers movie I'm producing, oh, yeah. uh, directed by Tom Stern, uh, who's been on the Abbott Hour also, and he, yeah. he directed a, a little movie called Freaked. Um, in, Everybody uh, loves that movie, yeah, it's right? The best. Yeah, Dude, I couldn't. It's, it's I couldn't, fucking awesome. Everyone I love loves it. it. Everyone else, right? Yeah. Everyone but you, because you're a skeptic. You you don't have it in your heart. Yeah, I'm like I hate no everything. <laughs> but anyway, he's directing it, and um, it's been. Really awesome. We have puppets. There's going to be sick animation. You know, it's not your mama's music doc. And um, and we have, like, fun people talking about the bottle surfers, like Ice-T and Eric Andre and Ian Mackay and all those cool people. Sorry if I didn't say There's, like, a million. I have, like, hours and hours of interviews to edit. But uh, It's fun. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Keep it. Uh, is, um, stay tuned. There's going to be more updates in the fall. Ooh. Is there like a website or anything? There is a website. It's called, it's a buttholesurfersmovie.com. Uh-huh. All right, great. Is that like a sub stack or something? No. I, I, <laughs> it's okay. I don't know what sub stack is either. Oh, but it probably I, I don't does. Know, this is what people are, I just hear probably people say that. it and I'm like, oh, you got a sub stack? We're and, like on Discord, so we're supposed to know. Yeah. And butthole spelled normally, <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, but butthole how you spell butthole and surfer how you spell surfer exactly dot com. I think the reason I don't like those guys is because I was like I'm like kind of prudish and I just never like that name. It like grossed me out. Mm. Butthole surfer, ew. Well, I, now everyone's surfing buttholes. Surfing the butthole. Well, they did it before it was cool, really. Yeah, and yeah. I I really was attracted to them initially because I was like. What the fuck is that? Like yeah. it's that's mm-hmm. that's really stupid. So I, I was <laughs> like, wow, I wanted, I wanted, I don't know. And I, <laughs> like life ended up that I'm producing their movie. I had no idea. I'm new so to this, cool. new to this country. I'm not a long time in this from country. From where? Uh, no, I'm from Israel. That's not my real accent. But when I just did an, uh, some some other accent. But uh, <laughs> you know, uh, this is the land of dreams. Okay. That's what they tell us. Yeah, you can come from Israel. To being the buttholes lady. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, that's what the buttholes dream. lady. What a dream. <laughs> I almost spit up my beer. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm surprised I didn't. <laughs> well, we do something here on the show called the Sob Scale. It's a five question <laughs> quiz. It's like babies flying all around me. <laughs> Little ghost babies. Little ghost babies flying around, sobbing. Sob scale stands for skeptical believer. It's a five question quiz. At the end, I will rate you anywhere between zero and five. If you're more of a five, you're more of a believer. If you're more of a zero, you're more of a skeptic. Are you ready to be weighed on the sob scale? Do I get punished? Do you want to? <laughs> we'll get, okay, uh, you'll surprise me. <laughs> which, which number would get punished, do you think? I mean, that's the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question, three-parter. Do you believe in aliens? If so, have they visited Earth? If so, have they visited Earth in the last 300 years? Well, I, I feel really bad to admit it. I'm coming out of the closet, and I've been like hiding it for years in America. I don't believe in aliens. Whoa. Wow. And I'm really, really sorry, Americans, because here I feel like people really take it seriously. So I, yeah, they do. No yeah. disrespect. No disrespect. No, I just like I'm empty. <laughs> I'm empty. So interesting. Okay. That's my problem. You don't need to be apologetic about that, though. No, n- not to, no. Oh, I'm empty. <laughs> He's That's not even an apology. I'm just like <laughs> yeah. no, I taking saying, personal inventory. I get it, man. <laughs> Have it's an empty fine. contest right now. <laughs> Who's the most empty? Well, um, we don't want to get that far. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's somebody with a blue microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> Second question, do you believe in ghosts? Again, I'm really sorry, America. Uh, I do not, uh, unfortunately, I do not believe in ghosts. But 
you know, I'm capable of being really afraid of ghosts and aliens because I watch like almost strictly horror movies. And I like, I really like scare myself a lot. Like I, I, I like, I live alone. Please don't come murder me. But like, I, you know, <laughs> what's your address? I live alone and, and I'm like constantly afraid. Like every time somebody knocks at my door, I'm like, oh, I'm going to open the door and they're going to blow my fucking head off. Cause yeah. I'm in America. Um, but like, uh, I get scared about that too. That's right? a real fear. I don't know why. Like I saw the jerk and you know, in the jerk, there's the scene that somebody just goes on the phone book and decides yeah. to shoot yeah. Steve Martin. That's terrifying. Like that's, that shit happens here every day. But anyway, like <clears throat> Nathan, what's his name? Um, and, yo, shit. I don't, Damn it. All yeah. Right, Black man, right? No, uh, he was born a poor black man. But I thought his name has nothing to do with it. I don't know. I uh, just know that he hates these cans. Yeah, yeah. He, hates <laughs> cans. he hates these cans. There's more cans. Um, yeah, so I'm like, uh, I'm like really capable of being afraid of ghosts, and I don't believe sure. in them. Right. So, but I'm still afraid of them. It's kind of like God. I don't believe in that, but I'm I'm afraid of God. Did you? Fair enough. Did you come? Did you just only live in Israel, or did you? Where have you? I lived in Israel until I was like 23, um, and then I lived in London, England, not Canada. <laughs> Is there London, Canada? I don't know why I keep having to say that. Nobody ever thought it was in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel compelled for some reason. So I, I lived there for one year, and then I moved here. Um, but they got ghosts in Israel, right? Don't you have ghost stories and stuff? I think there's bigger things to worry about in Israel. Not really. Like, I don't know. In Israel, they like... It, Judaism is kind of like... It's a, like a bummer. Like, I always wanted when I was a kid, I wanted to be like a Christian or like specifically Catholic because they have all the scary shit. You know, they have like yeah. the devil. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Judaism is not like... It's like... Judaism doesn't give a fuck about anything. It's like, it's just like you're afraid of God. Like, God hates you. He doesn't love you like Jesus. He's not a little pussy, mm. you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he doesn't fucking love you. Sorry. Like, you know, it's a different vibe. Like, here, I don't know. But, but I always, like, watch these movies, like, Exorcist. And I was like, oh, like, that's what I want. Like, you know? You gonna watch that new Russell Crowe exorcism movie? <laughs> oh, that looks so awesome. And I'm so happy he's back. What? Uh, <laughs> he's been around. He's been around. <laughs> right? A little bit. I can't um, think. I, I can't think of the last time. I, I think he punched some people or something. Oh, and then yeah. he got kind of canceled, but then people started getting canceled about like real stuff. And they were like, okay, we can have Russell yeah, Crowe he, again. He's just <laughs> yeah. an asshole. He's not like a bigot. I'm a, the biggest yeah. fan of everybody in Hollywood. So <laughs> I, I can. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so no to the ghost. Bigfoot? I want to believe. Mm -hmm. X Files. I want to believe. <laughs> so, so it's like a soft no. It's a soft no. Um, well, you know, it's a no. <laughs> okay, it's a no. Fair <laughs> enough. But this one could get you. Psychics. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'll go All for right. psychics. We got one. Nice. Okay. But and not like the, like, you know. Not the roadside ones. Not the ones that are working. Yeah. You know? Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, I'm a little bit psychic. Yeah? You know? <laughs> yeah? I can see, like, the deepest secrets in your eyes. Oh, man. Don't look at my eyes. <laughs> I have allergies. Like, my, I'm, not, I'm not looking at you where I have allergies. That's why I wear the glasses so people can't <laughs> like inspect too deeply into my psyche. But oh, like, okay. I don't know. I feel like, um, there like there's weird stuff. Like people, you know, there's people that are they have like vibes <laughs> or something. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. That you're like this person is like magic. I don't know what it is. He has the je ne sais quoi. Um, mm. Yeah, that's magic. Do you believe that? This is the last question. Do you believe that we live in a simulation? Uh, no, but we're going to be soon. Right? Yeah, we're going to make one. Like, it's kind of happening now. I don't know. It's kind of like... With, you know, like, meta and stuff, you mean? Yeah, you know all those shows like Is It Cake? 
Oh, yeah. Everything, could, oh, yeah. <laughs> everything could be cake nowadays. <laughs> oh, my God, you're everything. right. Did everything you've experienced in your life so far, was it real? <laughs> oh, my God. Or was it cake? Yeah. <laughs> you won't believe it. Like, uh, the things that can be cake nowadays. Oh, so, my like, God. You can't believe it's, it. Like, it's kind of like. Make you choose your grandma or uh, your job. Like, which one are you going to pick? Which but one? They is both cake? might be cake. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have your cake and eat it too nowadays. This is the society we live in. But my um, grandma was a sweetie, so she was probably cake. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> but like you know, it's kind of like that. I think with the simulation, like soon we won't know. Like, is this AI or is this cake or is this a person? Like, yeah, it's gonna be so confusing when we can't even know if something is cake AI or like a oh, biological human being. It's no, like it's gonna destroy society. It's being Cake it's fished. It's cake like fish. Cake fish. That's what I, it's catfishing, <laughs> but in your reality. <laughs> I just go cake fish. Oh sure. my god! I, I let's do it. Talk to me later. Talk to me later. Make it happen. This is like what the writers of Portal were thinking all along, right? You guys play that game? The cake is yeah. a lie. Yeah, the cake is a lie. Very prescient. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're like a one. Yeah, one. You're one. Congratulations. I'm a one. Okay. Uh, I'm the one. Yeah. You're the one. <laughs> well, it's pretty rare to get a one, so I do feel like you're the one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Usually people believe in at least two of the things or none of the things, never just one of the things. Yeah, we all believe in at least one of the things. That's the requirement to be a host on this show. It, it became that way. Yeah. Well, what we do you believe, believe in? Four of the things. I believe in ghosts and the simulation. Oh. But I only, or not ghosts, aliens. Yeah, I was like, you said, <laughs> believe, you said seeing a ghost but would destroy your life. Here. No, I misspoke. I believe that aliens exist, but that they haven't been to Earth. So I'm like a, mm. I'm like a one point, you know, three. Well, you know, like the 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 thing is, like, like, like everything's like alien if it's not from this Earth. Yeah. So if there's like a microbe living in some place that's not But here. that's boring. Yeah, like that's not what we're talking right. about. No, yeah. we're talking about <laughs> cool shit. Yeah. And <laughs> also, like, I, I think half of the aliens are actually from Earth, so... Oh, like David Bowie, what is this? Like, uh, just like some of the UAPs we see, just like, basically runaway civilization, like, like uh, advanced techno advanced societies. Like the pyramids and stuff? That have been stuff? here for a long time. I, I, I think the idea of the pyramids came from advanced, advanced societies that we have forgotten about. That's pretty awesome. I wish I, I love those stuff. Like I love reading about it and stuff. I'm just, I told you I'm empty. I'm dead. I have nothing in me. <laughs> I can't. But She's can't just laugh. a husk. She's but just you, full of moths. But she, she's like an empty wallet. A little, <laughs> a little moth flies out in a cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you do like tonight's topic. Oh my God! Blood rituals. Uh, hey, spoiler. Who's Willie, here for the blood hit us with the topic. Tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi, Blood Rituals. Why have so many civilization, cults, and blood brothers use blood? Spells? Symbolic rite of passage? Symbolic death and rebirth? Initiation? Magical protection and offerings to the gods? Who has done it and why? Should we still be doing blood rituals tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi? Yes! <laughs> yes to everything. Oh my god. Okay, episode over. So, yeah, we right. You're, you're, you're coming done. on as an expert. I mean, basically, you know. I mean, I mean, whether you're an expert or not, you are coming a on. A fan. As, a big fan yeah, of it. Yeah, you know, blood rituals, they're pretty rad. What's your, but what's your favorite of of all of the civilizations and or people or, or cults or whatever? What's your What's your favorite version of the blood ritual? So, there's like blood rituals that are focused on blood uh -huh. that like blood is the main component like you know like i recently discovered that you say her name bathory and not bathory oh. but uh, the the like you know the hungarian um countess or yeah she was some type of fancy type of people and she uh, allegedly murdered like 80 at least 80 women and girls and like tortured them to bathe in their blood so she can stay young and stuff and hot and you know, I do it because, like, right now I'm starting to get wrinkles in my forehead. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, 
anything goes. Like, I'll do anything, really. Yeah, <laughs> I can how, understand but, it. But how long would you bathe in blood before you realized it wasn't helping? Well, I think it's too external. Like, I would kind of drink it, too. Like, she was kind of... Maybe she did. I don't know. Some people say she didn't do it at all, and they just pinned it on her because she's a chick. Yeah, and they wanted to, like, get her a state or something because she was the... Yeah, she yeah. She was, like, the, the maiden the of the estate. Or something. It's like the original way of canceling someone. It. Like, oh, she's a witch. Like, yeah. we get all of her stuff. Right, exactly. But, like, unlike canceling Harvey Weinstein... <laughs> it's like uh because it, they used to like not do shit at all like i've been watching a lot of uh, movies lately about because i'm like fascinated with how fucked up europeans are uh -huh. like europeans are in they're so mean like they were torturing people all the time like yeah i brought this like book uh it's called hung drawn and quartered it's a kid's book from the UK. Oh my god! That's fun. It's it's a kids book. So there's like activities you can make like mummies and shrunken heads <gasps> and like it's a pretty cool book. Like get it for your child. Uh, I love weird kids. But, um, you know, it's like I'm fascinated with how brutal. Like Excuse there's me. no reason they were like cutting tongues and like you know all the, like there's this movie called um, Mark of the Devil. Oh, yeah, sorry. If people like, uh, you know, uh, 70s movies that are kind of brutal, uh, that one's great because it really shows the tortures. And um, <laughs> but anyway, like it was so these these rituals, they weren't really like about the blood. They were more about like the expulsion of the witch or the evil. And the blood was secondary to that. Right. But I'm like really, um, you know, I'm I'm not actually like sorry maybe like i should go after admitting this but like i don't really know about blood rituals that are focused on the blood i i bet like some ancient like central americans did it and stuff yeah mesoamericans yeah i mean um um uh, th this topic's gonna go all over the place but um um you well, know before we go yeah. all over the place have you seen have you guys seen glenn danzig's movie no. veronica the yeah. first one? Uh, wait, is it the one that there's like three like, yes, vignettes? Yes, with the woman that has, that, sorry, yeah. spoilers, can no, I say it? I think it's fine because that's the entire premise Right, of that. so she has eyes instead of nipples. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sorry. That's not what I thought you were going to say. That is a spoiler. But guess which that's one? Right guess it, which one? Because there's been three out, stories. If it's been out for more than a year, it's not a spoiler. I don't yeah. think it has. It was just doing the festivals like recently. No, that's not that's not the one I saw. They did another one. Well, but wait. There's the nipple one. Then there's the uh a uh, uh the one where they're cutting faces off. This one I did not see. Oh, see no. this. Oh boy. This confirms my theory. Yeah. That he made a short. And then he wanted to make a feature, so he just tacked on like two other stories. Mm. So that so there's a new one. It's got that. That's the first one. And then there's like a, a face cutting off one. And then the last one is a, a woman who bathes in blood. What? I, it's oh, it rings a bell. Like the thing about the dancing movie. It's horrible. Yeah. I so like. <laughs> but the, so bad. The thing about it is like, I try to watch it. And I'm pretty successful at watching shit. Yeah. You know? uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, that, I'm like really good at it. And, sure. Yeah. And I've tried to I watch. I sit through almost anything. Right. And I tried to watch the dancing movie like three or four times. And I tried and I, I couldn't do it. Like I was like, this is just horrible. But then when I mm. describe it to people, because they ask what's so horrible about it. Yeah. And it's hard because I love trash movies. And I'm like, and I'm explaining it. And I'm like, and then in my head, I'm like, that doesn't sound so horrible. And then I try again, and I'm like, oh, like, oh, it's yeah. like, this is uh, like awful. It's so <laughs> Sorry, bad. I love you, Danzig. Please marry me. Danzig, you're great. Yeah. <laughs> you're five two, but you're 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 yoked. Danzig, I love you. Sure. Don't Glenn, listen to him. I if got you're you. out there, you've got some fans. Um, I got you. What was I gonna say? Fuck. Uh, something about, about his movie. a specific specific thing about the something shorts, about the blood, blood, blade, blade, B blood, bathe. blood, oh. blast, blood bath. To blathe. <laughs> Black bugs have blue blood baths, and blue bugs have blood 
Oh, I was going to say. There, I knew this it. is just what I was going to say, and this is so not <laughs> worth me waiting. <laughs> I was just going to say, have some friends over, put it on, <laughs> talk over it. That's the way to watch it. Maybe work out during the movie. Yeah, maybe work out. Work out during <laughs> the movie. You just put your own soundtrack onto it. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Okay, so let's dive in. Mesoamerican cultures. Would you like to start there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to, I, I don't know, I don't know when to start time. Do you want right? me to start with the, the theory of, of where blood rituals started? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so there's a, a thought that blood rituals started back before we were even verbal, back when we were like just roaming the land, we would kill animals, which were warm, and we would watch the blood come out of them and watch them turn cold. And because there's no science or religion you would just assume this is the life that draining out of it. So then you start to worship the blood. And once deities come into play and uh, nature worship, um, you would want to make offerings to this thing in, in, in hopes of favor because you're giving it a life force to do work for you. So as that would move on, like people would start sacrificing things to their ancestors, things to like other gods, and eventually it would just become like, Children. So, yeah, children. Children are purer than adults. Yeah. So you want to sacrifice them more? It's the good stuff. Virgins. The, also, pure. like, the more valuable. <laughs> what, am I yeah. going to make meat for this kid or am I going to just sacrifice him to the fucking gods? And that's another thing, too. Like, perhaps blood rituals and human sacrifice go back to, like, the success of ancient cultures because it's less mouths to feed. And right. it's easier if the kid the is hurt. a brat. Yeah, you're like, who's <laughs> the worst one? Who's the worst one? That one's always throwing rocks at me. Yeah. You know that like um, in the Bible. It's a Dennis the Menace of. In the, like the Jewish Bible, the real Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Not your little the fake little. Wink. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. your little new little fake yeah, one. Yeah, not those. Who you yeah. Think yeah. Collections of stories. Yeah. After, uh, like the one that was like, yeah, the old one. So it's like. Um, so the the Hebrew word for <clears throat> for hell is Gehenom, and Gehenom it means like Mount Henom, and then supposedly they would do a lot of like um, like the heathens uh, would do like uh, how do you call it? Uh, they would sacrifice children, and they would like bang on the drums, and they describe it really cool in the Bible the, the drums and the babies and like and people uh, are like, oh, wanna, this is like is, hell. Oh wait, oh, what is it? This is hell. Like oh, <laughs> so that's how hell. That's yeah. Um, so um, but you know everybody loves stem cells. Oh yeah, everyone loves stem cells. I'm into that. them. So who are we to judge, right? Not me. No, we're I all think, yeah, pro no. stem cells. Yeah. They were onto the right. They were onto the right thing. They just didn't know how to boil it down, right? Or they, yeah, they. Boil <laughs> Sometimes it down they did boil it. it down and eat it. You boil uh, it down. Yeah. You get the stem cells out. <laughs> um. Uh, so like the, I mean, we should just jump into some random things, right? Like the Aztecs about five hundred years ago, used to do <laughs> offerings to the sun god. Uh huh. Uh, they would they would try to present uh, still beating hearts to the gods. Yeah. Because they saw death as a part of life, and uh, and th they would just like they thought that if they stopped, that their world would just come crashing down. So it was just like continuous live blood sacrifices, right? Yeah. But then there were some that were bigger than the others, like solstices and stuff. They were hooked. They were hooked. hooked on that blood, <laughs> then, like, oh, I can't Ooh, stop it. I just want it. Yeah. I know there's like also like some African people that uh, I'm sorry, like that they like they like cows. Maybe it's the Maasai because the Maasai like cows, and they like they drink the blood of the cow. But the cow is unharmed. They just take some blood and they drink it. It's like a like a health drink. So you know, it's like Gatorade. Maybe it's not about like. Oh, blood rituals are bad. Maybe it's about finding a way to keep that baby alive, yeah. take his blood and keep him alive. Right? Like if you... And, and, I want and, the blood and my baby. Yeah, like have the cake and eat it too. Yeah. Since if you think cake. that this existence is part of a bigger existence, like as a culture, uh -huh. it's like, you know, they would, they would be fine sacrificing themselves because they were assisting the souls of dead warriors. It's just like, hey, there's... There's a war outside of this physical existence too, and we can, we can be a part of that. 
You know what would be fun is to go back in time, but, like, make the baby out of cake. (laughs) (laughs) That would blow their mind. They would be like, what? Wait, they would just kill you. (laughs) Everyone, take a bite. I would be their god. (laughs) They would be like, you turned a baby into sweet bread? (laughs) This is great. You know what's also, like, important for this conversation? Obviously, it's Indiana Jones 2 Temple of Doom. Yeah, yeah. Right? We can't talk about blood rituals and not talk about Indiana. The most annoying By the way, this actor is Israeli, just so you know. The actor that does the Kalima. It's the pride of Israel for years. Before Gal Gadot, we had him. Before who? Gal Gadot. Or how do you say her name? No, no, you got it. You would know more than us. He was the star. He was, and the guy, he was in The Mummy too. He was like in The Scorpion King or something. So the Kalima, you know. Yeah. That's like my my favorite movie in the world. It's yeah. my favorite Indiana Jones. It's, Everyone says it's the worst one, but it's my favorite one. Right. And now everybody oh. wants to be cool because Short Round won the Oscar. So now everybody likes it all of a yeah. sudden. No, oh, but here. Boy. Let me just say this. Say it. It'll Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Short Round is annoying. <laughs> and the woman is annoying. What the? Spoken and like the a whole, white man. What, the what are you talking time, about? The whole time, it's just... Them going, meh, meh, indie, meh, meh, meh. no time for love, Doctor Jones. You listen to me, you live longer. Yeah, see, that's how I talk. Literally, it's just like that's how I talk as an immigrant. <laughs> no, but it's like if, seeing me. It's, like, <laughs> it's really relatable. Yeah, but if I went into a cave with you and there was bugs and we were walking around, and there's all these bugs. You wouldn't be like, meh, meh. that's my. Favorite well, here's part. the thing. It might the have, bugs. That's my the problem part. is it was written that way where they were like <laughs> his two best friends are basically obstacles for him also <laughs> well where the mo- <laughs> what would we have without it like have you heard about like plots and co- like it's important to drive a plot you wouldn't know about this let uh, me explain something to no, you you're right. <laughs> let me i ma- haven't studied my whole let life let me woman explain you right okay, now please do. <laughs> no but it's like uh, th- there's uh, the part also with the blood so the way they get them like in this like zombie mode so that they can take the Kalima. Uh-huh. And you know, they have like all these child slaves there yeah. that they stole from the village mm-hmm. because they all drink the blood. Yeah. So the, the blood. Of the children or the children drink no, the blood? Th- who, whose blood do they drink though? Because that I can't remember. The, 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 they do like the sacrifice. The yeah. sacrifice blood. They, they show, they show like a, I think a woman doing it and then they want the blonde lady. They capture the blonde lady. They're going to get Kate Cap shows, by the way, Steven Spielberg's wife. I didn't know Coincidence? that. Coincidence? <laughs> I what, think not. Wh- <laughs> what do you guys think of blood? Uh, oh, I love it. It's all right. I it- used to like to, uh, like, I would, I don't know why I would have all these scabs on my leg. Okay. Are you even <laughs> Jewish? I don't know. Am I Jewish? I don't think you're Jewish. I'm not Jewish. Okay. Did I claim to be? I don't know if I want to be in this show anymore. No, just kidding. Oh. What happened to your scalp? <laughs> it would be fun to pick them and then like watch the blood come out. So I think I'm pro blood. You're very salad fingers. That's a very when I salad see... fingers thing to like. What's salad fingers? Oh my God, salad fingers He is likes awesome. it when the red water comes out. I am salad fingers. <laughs> Fuck. I like it. It's pretty creepy. You should watch it. Out. Do you remember Happy Tree Friends? <laughs> yeah. That had a lot of blood in it. That's true. A lot of animated blood. I have my there lame story when I was a kid of um, when I learned that you could die from loss of blood. I was so afraid of it that like <laughs> any time I would bleed, I would just drink it. Try to put it back in my body. Oh, like, oh, no, 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 this is, I don't want to die of lots of blood. That's pretty cool. That's scary, dude. And I like the taste of blood. It's like pissing in your mouth or something, in your own <laughs> mouth. And the iron, you know, iron's got a great taste. Do you guys think that circumcision counts as a blood sacrifice? Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Totally. Because, you know, oh, my God, I'm going to get canceled in Israel and Brooklyn now. No, it's fine. But Not I, here, though. Not here. I'm going to get canceled in some parts of West Hollywood. <laughs> um, but you know the moils of the bris that you do the circumcision and there's like a rabbi that does that mm-hmm. so like they do it like so when they cut it okay the 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 they cut the the, the 
Have you been to a the bris? foreskin? I've, I've, have I been to a bris? Of course, I've, I've been to a bris. Okay. Who hasn't? Yeah. Fucking I grow up. Grow yeah. up. <laughs> grow up, you two. <laughs> grow up. No, sometimes they do it in the hospital. No, you you take the rabbi. Okay, so you, there's a rabbi that does specifically that is the moil. And and then he cuts it and he like, some of them like, uh, they like suck the blood out of the little baby penis. I'm, I swear, I'm not so, even. What? And they, they do it, and they, they, I don't know why, but it's sometimes it's a part of it. Out of the skin or out of the wee-wee? Out of the, out of the wee-wee. Because the, cause they cut the skin around the wee-wee, so the best way to get the blood is to suck, suck it on the wee-wee. So check this out. There was a, a rabbi at some point in Israel, a moyo, that did that, and a bunch of babies got herpes. What? No. Oh, my God. You can't, you can't be a moil. I think they're and, canceling my herpes. Israeli citizenship right now. Holy oh shit. Boy, this, is like, oh this is like stuff I'm not supposed but to tell on. non-Jews. They didn't get it from that, though. <laughs> They didn't get it from that. They got it from something else. Well, yeah, they're fucking all over town, <laughs> yeah, those, dude. Those were some hot babies. Yeah. They <laughs> played the babies. They were asking for look it. Look what they were wearing. <laughs> yeah, look what they were wearing. Nothing? Diapers? Yeah, like, Excuse oh my God. me? <laughs> but there is a thing about sucking your wound, right? Because it, like... It like helps the platelets or or something. It's like something the in your saliva, mouth. The saliva, the yeah. saliva mixing with the platelets. Except like, our saliva is like the dirtiest thing. That's why like human bites are so dangerous. They are. Yeah, they're super dangerous because our mouths are disgusting. And More than the dog's mouth. Yeah. There's like a, a mythical story in my family <laughs> that my grandma supposedly and my grandma like my grandparents I don't know why but they were like a thousand years old they were born like in the in 1900 Holy shit. I don't know why because I'm 29 but for some reason they were hella old and okay. my grandma like so there were cauldrons right in Europe <laughs> where you like make jam and stuff you know okay supposedly yeah jam, <laughs> yeah, jam. And uh, my grandma supposedly, when she was like three years old, she like climbed onto one of those cauldrons and fell and got like really bad burns all over her body. <gasps> oh my god! Not body, but or on her body. Uh -huh. And um, and then uh, um, so the legend has it that the town gypsy came to the dying baby, and she was like to the mother, she was like, "Let my dog lick her." And she like, and the, her dog licked her for like 24 hours and supposedly she was saved. So that's the, mm. my family. That's some dog. <laughs> but, but now everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't let your dogs lick your mouth because it's dirty. Like, it's what did they know? Look at a split, dirty. save my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I heard not to kiss a dog because they get worms and they lick their asshole and then you can get worms. Well, I do those things too, so. You lick your <laughs> asshole? Maybe. <laughs> That's well, why she I does yoga. <laughs> She's a yogi, didn't you know? Have you ever, are you capable of like, no. I don't think anyone in this room right now can do that. Can no one anyone in this in the room world? can do it. Probably the extreme benders. People that get their ribs removed to suck their own dicks. I bet they like could Cher. also. Yeah, like Cher. Cher did that? I bet Cher can lick her own asshole. Cher wanted to suck her own dick? Do you remember when people said that she took out a rib? Is yeah. It, did yeah. they only say it in Israel? <laughs> no, we that. heard that was our urban legend version of that was. Um, Pam Anderson? No, it was. um. Didn't she? No, no, no. Trent Reznor? Before that. No. God damn it. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. People can't Marilyn hear Sevon. Yeah, but you so. did like four. Nobody can hear Sevon. Marilyn Manson. That was our urban legend. That he had a rib removed. <laughs> we also had an urban legend. Do you guys have this? That he was uh uh the the friend from Wonder Years. Oh, no. <laughs> did you guys have Wonder we Years? Did, I don't I don't think we really had <laughs> it was very select what we had there. So we had like a real cool It was government approved, right? <laughs> It used to be do when you know, we had governments. Do you know who Fred Savage is? Oh yeah, I know. I know who Fred Savage is. Ooh, he was. Sounds he was like, on he sounds just like got really canceled. Did he? Just get canceled? Did he? Oh yeah, no. he, yeah. He, he, I think his he borderline like canceled. On a, uh, he like yeah, hit on a fifteen year old a PA really hard at a rap party. Mm. Um, oh, man. My, my thing about <clears throat> I want to get into this that. real quick. My thing about blood. Uh -huh. You look at all of, I know we haven't gotten into too many, but there's all these um, ancient civilizations. There's these cults. There's these, what, what, 
all these people are into blood, blood sacrifices, blood everything. What I uh, what, what the idea that I like is that we are all we all produce electromagnetic fields. Okay. And if you want to make a a an electromagnetic field, you need l let's say you have a, a, a nail and a battery and and you and you wrap it with wrap the nail with copper and you connect that you're going to make this nail magnetic um we have in our blood in every little piece of blood we have the most magnetic um metal on the in the world in our blood iron, iron. that's so we, why magneto is so powerful we have iron in our blood oh yeah our electricity we our blood is circulating so we have a current and our, our conduit is our nervous system we our nervous system creates electrical impulses so our blood actually is has a magnetic field just like we do so if you were to kill something fresh and put blood on it you would amplify the magnetic field of whatever you were putting the blood on so blood in the science realm actually like fresh blood actually has a power to it in the realm of of you know i, I don't want to say manifesting but like connecting to the universe fresh blood is is fucking number one <laughs> oh it's a conduit to the universe yeah well i believe you know what i believe you and i so i have like believe it or not and i'm not being ironical or anything i have to red syndrome so like a lot of times i feel like i'm a i'm a, i'm like a battery like i feel all the time like ah like i'm gonna explode with all this electricity and i swear to you also that like fucking electrical shit go wrong near me a lot of times oh i don't know I don't know. Are you just really bad at computers? I am not bad at computers. <laughs> I'm good at computers. I'll tell you even more. But you've really, had some burnouts. I, I really love uh, Excel sheets and stuff. Ooh. I don't know. Well, you're a producer. You got it. Yeah. What's really? your favorite formula? Oh, my God. I just love the simple, like, functions, you know? I just yeah. love, like, some, like, oh, God, give it <laughs> all day average. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get Fucking it. Pivot tables. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. H lookup, V lookup. Oh, my God. V lookup, girl. <laughs> get out of here with oh that. Oh, my lookup. God. Um, sure. It's yeah. a great time. No, that's uh, pretty We all great. love it. But, like, I think um, a lot of times I'm love like, it. wow, if you could harness my energy. You could like if you could harness my energy, like I wouldn't have to pay yeah. electricity bill. If yeah. I could like if my house could be powered by my ticks, <laughs> like I wish, you know. I have friends uh, like with like even worse ticks, and they're like, that, that's we should like you know make an industry um, basically enslaving people with Tourette's to con to produce energy. Okay, yeah. I think that's the matrix. That's the matrix, correct. <laughs> yeah. It's also maybe it's Monsters Incorporated. Monsters Incorporated probably too. Oh, right, with the, the screams and the things. And yeah, the... I bet you can you can alter those cans to hold ticks instead of screams. But I'll, I'll, if you wanted to alter everyone's electromagnetic field, you just you could use Wi-Fi and, and cell phone towers and microwaves and, and like... like I, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people believe that we actually have electromagnetic fields and produced produced from our body yeah so it's crazy if you do you. believe that and you think of all of the the elect electric electronic things that we use like it does affect us i don't you know like yeah who's paying for the research to say that it's safe yeah the cell phone companies and it's safe i'm not stupid it's just electromagnetics <laughs> yeah i can listen i can't pay rent this month because my electromagnetic field Went a little crazy. <laughs> I mean, couldn't that just be your aura, your electromagnetic field? Your chi, yeah. Your chi. It could yes. be an aura or a chi. Yeah. How do you, how do you, or a chi. folks, feel about like astrology? By the way, I'm just curious. I believe in it heavily. I, I believe in it like like the way you believe in psychics. Like I believe in psychics. I believe in astrology, but I feel like most things are cashing in. Yeah, I don't believe in like uh. Like a newspaper horoscope. Oh, really? Yeah. 
But I believe in like co-star. <laughs> It's What's easy it? <laughs> to, to to take in a horoscope and 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 start your day with it, and then like apply it to your day. I used to always check my horoscope at the end of the day to see if it worked. But you, in the same way, you can make it work for you if you want to believe in it or not. So, right. so, but I do believe that uh, the gravities and the uh, the where everything is when you were born has an effect on on. So you believe that there is a solar system. Yeah, yeah. You don't? You don't believe there's a solar system? Mm, that's the biggest sham since JFK. Go, 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 uh -oh. go, go. Just <laughs> that's I was it. just I was just like, I wish, I wish. I'm telling you, I'm empty. I wish I believed there's no solar system. Oh, man. I wish I believed in anything. I wish you did, too. That'd well, be crazy. No, no, I love somebody, it in a good way. somebody put Pluto over Australia. Pluto's the size of Australia. Yeah. No wonder it got demoted. It's <laughs> a tiny uh, fucking yeah, planet, that, man. People are That's so mad about it. And, even... and Pluto and its moon, which is almost the same size as Pluto, can't clear its path around the sun. So the, that, that's why they that's the new classification. If the thing if the body can clear its path. So it's so small that it's riddled with things that are just as big as it in its path. Mm. Well damn. I have a question about blood. Okay. Did you ever do like a a, a blood uh, agreement with the body or a blood brother? You ever? Uh, yeah, yeah you brother. did this. You I've did never it. done it. You did? I've never done it. You uh, did it. You did it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I did with a guy, and it was it was crazy because um, we were good buds. We were in thick as thieves. Both of our brothers were just troublemakers, and then one night, all four of us went out on the town and all of a sudden we got into a bunch of trouble i got arrested get gunpoint with my friend just from like walking around and like what, what whatever what, you know like <laughs> they were on a crime spree they were, we're stealing crime spree. bikes <laughs> yeah, yeah. they didn't just get arrested they're breaking in a truck stealing bikes but yeah Drop yeah i was just like oh we're stole the oh we're hanging out <laughs> hey this truck door is open what's in here there's a briefcase the, the oh, guy, look at these documents. The guy, the, the guy that owned the truck <laughs> said that we used laser cutters to cut into his truck, and there was no evidence of that, but we got charged for but it. But you were a blood brother, though. You were, yeah, charged, and, you were charged for owning a laser cutter? Yeah, what I'm like, heck? okay, well, <laughs> charge us. One charge, on, that's on. a one charge usage of laser cutter. Seventh grade <laughs> laser cutter into a semi. It's pretty awesome. That's yeah. not even a thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not tell a, the judge that's a fucking james bond gizmo but um um <laughs> when when we got arrested uh, uh they got sent back to mexico and and i don't know I, I, th there was a moment where i was hanging out with him and i had to choose between him and my other friend that i that i that i was better friends with that i know longer that i was not blood brothers with but it was crazy to choose my buddy that, like, I was better buddies with over someone who I agreed to share blood with. Mm. It's just a moment in my life where I was like, well, I was wrong about the blood. <laughs> blood isn't thicker than water. You took the wrong blood. <laughs> yeah, bad blood. Why do you ask? Did you have one? Yeah, I, I just, I remember that, like, um, I used to have, like, uh, a boyfriend when I was, like, 18 or something. And... I don't know. I think like I, I'm, I'm like I, I have mental illness probably. But like, <laughs> we used to Who like, uh, right? Right. Not, yeah, like I'm so cool. I have mental illness. I think I'm <laughs> um, but um, uh, so we used to like, uh, kind of like wrestle. I don't know why. I was also drunk a lot. Never mind. But like, we used to like <laughs> wrestle, like. Not really hurt each other, but just like roll around. And then I remember one time we were like, let's do it, let's do it. Like, I don't know. And we got knives and we cut our uh, hair, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And the then hand. we put it together and we like squeezed the hands and we were like, blood brothers, blood brothers. I don't know why I did that, but it happened. And, uh, you know, and um, did you feel stronger after? I, I I did feel stronger after and and but you know what the the thing is that since the like seventies and eighties with the with the HIV sure. epidemic, how do you think that like put a wrench in the blood ritual business? Yeah, yeah. now it's just spit. You spit in your hand. It's like nowadays you don't you know like now. By the way, like I think they're solved AIDS now. 
They're what? I think they cured AIDS. Did they? Like they, 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 they? did. I think, I think like two people I got cured of AIDS. Is now. this like just today? No, like recently though. So that's not even a problem anymore. Let's go back to raw dogging. Yeah, let's fuck everyone. Uh, <laughs> Wait, oh no, but, don't listen to me. I'm not a doctor. But both of you guys who did the blood brother ritual, do you do you ever is it like twins? Do you ever like feel like, oh, <laughs> my blood brother's in danger? Are right you now. okay? I really gotta call them right now. Something's up. Is it ever <laughs> like that? Do you ever get that? Are you eating lettuce? Uh no, not for me. Oh, I wish. That would be awesome. I think that's the thing. Like, you know, when I was like uh, 12 or 13, I was like, I want to be a witch. Like, I really believed it, like these things. I was like magic, you know, magic. And I, I was reading the Wicca book and like doing spells on my cat and nothing happened. <laughs> and, and then I kind of was bummed, honestly, because I really gave it 100%. I gave it 100%. Yeah. And, and I was really bummed because I did like a spell that I can talk to my cat and it, it didn't work. Aww. So fucking cute. Uh, I, 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 but I did a bunch of spells. I also spelled people to be in love with me and it didn't work. I, I don't know. So I kind of was bummed. Um, I think you got to revisit that every time, every decade, because your beliefs kind of change and you, you are stronger in certain beliefs. And <laughs> right, like <laughs> maybe now my like my emptiness needs to be filled with Wicca. Oh yeah, are any Put of you Wiccan? <laughs> can you be a male Wiccan? Yeah, 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 of course you can. Oh really? Yeah, yeah like I, I'll be a Wiccan, sure. You guys can be Wiccans together. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Make some wicker chairs. <laughs> yeah, make a wicker man. We'll make a wicker man. John Wicker. Wicker man. John Wick, Wicker man. John Wicker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, man. well, we're coming down to the line and we have yet to talk about a single blood we ritual. We did talk about blood rituals. We touched no, on No, I'm it. saying like, go through, give us the hits. What are the top blood rituals uh, MTV style? Right, uh... Uh, in, indigenous Americans, uh, usually a Sundance would uh, follow with some kind of blood sacrifice. Uh, the Mayans did a lot of blood sacrifice the same way the Aztecs did. The Estrucrucians. The et Estrucrucians. I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> uh, the farmers' traits like Carthage and Greece, although early historians were not confident that the Estacrucians? Estacrucians? I, I can't say it. Engage in human sacrifice. Recent excavations reveal multiple sites of human sacrifice. We should bring back human sacrifice because, um, you know how we have like death row and stuff, but like that doesn't really stop anyone from being bad. Yeah. <laughs> but if we were just like monthly sacrifice, human sacrifice in every society. Right. Like, who are you going to pick? The worst ones. Yeah. That's the thing, though. When you the get into sacrifices, you want to choose the best ones because that's mm. actually worth more. Yeah. Depend yeah. Depending on what you believe in. Well, you know? like you don't want bit. no pedophile blood. That sucks. I yeah. want to amend it to Ew. say pedophile blood is the best blood. Oh. Oh, oh because okay. they well, feed on the children. Yes. Oh, and then, yeah. So, there we go. They so got here, the adrenochrome. Here's another thing about the blood, too, right? <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you follow the line of the electromagnetic fields and, like, the power of the blood... Like um um the power of the blood. What a, uh, the power of blood song? compels you. Yeah. yeah. There's power in the blood. Isn't that a Christian song? Christians love blood. Like Christians love blood too. Jesus, what? Yeah, we're drinking drink? his blood. That's a blood. Wait Fucking a minute. Weird. That's a blood ritual the That's whole time. That is a blood ritual. <laughs> it was right shit, in front of us. Right in front of us. How do we have put that together? <laughs> Uh, They're pagans. The Chinese did pit sacrifices back in ancient China, where they would pit cut bulls? a bunch of people's throats and throw them in a pit. Oh, a sacrifice! Um, Whoa. I, I'm sorry. What do you? Uh, uh, like in the realm of the power of blood, period blood would a could actually be stronger than than regular blood too, because this this is the the chance at making another life, and that is the the most powerful process in the universe is to is to procreate that's pretty good blood and i'll tell you jews don't like that blood 
No. They don't like that, it. but you're supposed to in the Orthodox, you're supposed to like hide when you have that woman time. Where do you hide? Do you have like a closet you go into? I'm not like, I don't really know. I'm like the most secular person, so I don't really know. But there's like, you're supposed to cleanse yourself. Like, it's not good. Oh, and I know that Italians, as I don't know if all Italians, but some Italians, they're like, you, the woman can't make the, the pasta when she has the period. And so here's my thing. <laughs> I, I think that Got all period, of no these pasta. patriarchal <laughs> societies have made Bro, the, you're eating period this pasta blood right now. less than when it's like the most powerful thing in the universe. Do you sorry? Do you remember in Midsummer where they put she put her period blood in his drink? And you see, it, that's it why like, they have to put us away because we can cast a spell with our period blood. With the Is period. Is that how you blood. made your cat talk? You I wish. I didn't have blood. a period even back then, you know what? I was that much of a loser. I'm going to make next, so next, no sci-fi. You're not cool if you don't have your period. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, period dude, I really no thought that. Drink. When I was growing up, I think people were like on some growth hormones and people were getting their periods when they were like 10 years old. Yeah, it's fucked and up. And I felt like a loser because it only came like when I was 13. I was like, oh my God, I'm such a loser. But But I actually have like an idea, like, you know how we have global warming? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Supposedly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have global warming. Arguably. Su mm. Supposedly. You know, the Earth changes temperatures every uh, 100 years. And... But you know what? <laughs> no blood rituals, more global warming. Oh, we, oh <laughs> she's got a point. Oh, my God. She's got a we point. We have not. Uh, paid our dues in the realm of uh, yeah. living on earth. That's why it's fucking pissed. It's yeah. like, where's my blood, Where's bitch? my blood, motherfucker? Yeah, it's been like a hundred years. <laughs> Spill your fucking blood. I, I gave blood. you computers. Yeah. <laughs> Give me fucking blood. <laughs> Alright, well, um, any kind of like final thoughts? The the uh, say the say the documentary website again. Oh, it's buttlesurfersmovie.com Alright. Um, so go, yeah, go there for go watch for it. We have a really fun teaser that is like a, uh, how we envision a scene to be in the movie, and it has Keith Morris and a puppet, and all kinds of things are happening um, in an attempt to recreate the psychedelic uh, audiovisual full body experience that is about all surfers show <laughs> do you uh do you want to plug your socials or anything you want to tell these people where to find you at noah durban all right yeah. D-U-R-B-A-N. d-u-r-b-a-n d-u-r-b-a-n noah n-o-a and then d-u-r-b-a-n oh shit i've been spelling it with an h uh Idiot. My last thing about blood rituals I thought was compelling was uh, in India currently they do volunteer blood rituals. They act, they will donate blood as a way to remember politicians who have died. They were mm. they were assassinated. The two different Gandhis, uh, the Prime Minister and um, um, Rajiv Gandhi. I can't I can't say his names, but I just thought it was interesting that they give blood to mm. in in in. In honor. Yeah, in honor, in of, honor of assassinated leaders. I'm like, that's fucking cool. Well, my final thought is, in Africa, albinos are hunted every day for their blood, their genitals, and their bones. If you know anyone in need of help or being human trafficked uh, as albinos, definitely report it to your local authorities. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Well, Thanks, Noah, Aaron. thank you so much for yeah. being here. Are you going to stick around for the bonus? Yeah, sure. All right. We're going to keep the conversation going with our friend Noah. Uh, I space your last name. Durban. Dur Durban. Durban. N-O-A-D-U-R-B-N. It's N to the O to the A to the D to, you. <laughs> <laughs> to the U to the R to the B-A-N. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Top that. Top that. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I can't get into it. In which? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Patreon.com slash real life sci fi. Patreon. Or I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, real life sci fi dot show. Find us there. Yeah. And remember, nothing else, right? Yeah, I guess. Guess that's it. Guess that's the show. Patreon.com slash real life sci fi to continue the conversation with, with Noah here. And um, just because you're paranoid. Doesn't mean they're not after you. Ooh.